can India ever match with USA China in in terms of quantum supremacy and how can we commercialize it so i would say that india in the ter in terms of uh, artificial intelligence machine learning and quantum computing is at least 10 years behind the us and china uh, in the us and china they have developed this uh, academic military industrial uh, complex in which all three of these these disparate branches help each other right and that's why there is so much emphasis on research in the academic system in the US and China. The Chinese have basically emulated the American system and they are now trying to surpass it. If you look at India's academic system, there is no emphasis on research. It's all teaching from textbooks that somebody else has written. So India lags behind very badly in, in research and development in uh, these fields, AI, quantum, uh, quantum computing. I don't think anyone's even tried to build a quantum computer in India thus far. Can India match up in the future? India can. If we, if we invest in these technologies, if we build research centers, if we put the best minds to work, we, we don't have any shortage of best minds. We have the best minds in the world, which we export in the millions to other countries, right? So if we leverage our innate inborn intelligence and brilliance and if we set up these research centers and if, if we fund them properly we can at least uh, i would say reach the level of the us and china in the next 10 to 15 to 20 years definitely and if we can reach that level we can certainly surpass them but it would take some initiative from the government for this to happen or from the private sector but the private sector is constrained in many ways the private sector is all about profits. If you can't generate a profit, then you will you will go out of business. And in India, what is profitable is not this sort of thing as of now today. So the government will have to take some initiative. And as of now, it's not happened. I hope. I mean, something was announced a year or two ago that uh, 10 million or so dollars would be spent on this, which is a paltry amount of money. We need to spend billions of dollars in order to make this happen. And some may look upon this as a wasteful investment when India still has poor people. But hey, this is going to pay you back a million times fold in the future. So it is a worthwhile investment. It is always worthwhile to invest in science and technology, even if you don't see the immediate outcome or fruits of this investment. The fruits are, the, are going to be visible in the long run. For example, if we had not built ISRO 40, 50 years ago, then we would not have any rocket technology. We would not be able to launch our own satellites and we would be dependent on other countries. So that investment in rocket science, which looked ludicrous in the 1950s and 60s and 70s, has paid back so much to us today. So that is the view we need to have. That's the approach we need to have. We need to think long term. So India does need to invest a great deal in artificial intelligence, machine learning, and associated technologies like quantum computing.